My name is Peter Greco, and I am a lettering artist. Um, I'm originally from New Jersey, went to school in New York, uh, been in LA since about 1980, and started doing movie logos, freelance. I did uh, Terry Gillum's Brazil logo, uh, that Tom Hanks movie, Splash, and I am the creator of the D.A.R.E. logo. And, uh, you know, after a while doing lettering, I reached the point where I wanted to get away from that. And for the last 10, 15 years, uh, I've been doing holographiti murals. But I, I told them, you know, I'm going to stop right here. And you can have this area that can change every three months. And then mine can remain up and you give other artists a chance, you know, um, which I thought was a great idea. Everyone loved that idea. So, but you can see it's fading, a little fading. So I call this Day of the Dead, not because it has anything to do with Day of the Dead, really. It's just that when I was painting it, someone said, you know, this is the Day of the Dead. I was like, oh, shit, I forgot, you know. So I just wrote. Um, Dios de los Marte here, Day of the Dead. And then every once in a while, like, come back and, like, ask them stuff. West Wednesday, peace. It says peace here. Yeah, one of the few places in L.A. here, downtown Arts District, where this feels like a neighborhood. You know, you run into the same people, people say hi, people hang out. Um, it's not like that anywhere else I've been. I mean, it, probably like that a little bit in Venice, maybe, but I don't really know the west side too, too well. Yeah, this, is, this is my hood. This one was kind of different because I'm like on raw concrete, no paint, which means that if I make a mistake, there's no way to correct it because I can't like match this color, you know? So there was no correction on this at all. But I'm going to come back and go over some of this red because the red fades really fast. And most of it's abstract, but in this group, at eye level, I put all the legible words at eye level. But this was a ghost town, man, when I first moved here. God, it was barren. It was barren. All these buildings were abandoned. And now look at it. So different. Uh, hey, let's go drop back. He's helped me do that because yeah. I'm not good on the computer. Tells you they need to get KTLA out of here, man. Yeah, KTLA, that's what I'm thinking. I see people come out here all the time. They love to take a picture on the wall all yeah. the time. I'm here all the time, so I see them. You know what really gets the attention is it's the art district. That's true. It's the art district. You know, it's that's art, true. It's art, it's art You know what? I actually want to get something. You know, when I lived here, mm -hmm. there was hardly any graffiti here. Jeez. I 
think this is a new structure. They don't know who I am, but where we from, but what we do, man. They don't know what I can do. I see them sneaking around, pissing me down, staring me down. Man, hey, so what can we do? Boom. See ya! Hey ya! Oh, that's their spot right down there. Oh. Anyone makes something by hand, being a fine artist or an artisan, you know, making things, it, that, that act of, of creating things with your hand, it connects you to the world, you know, because it's a physical thing that you're actually using your, your, your spirit, your mind, your body to make something and all of a sudden it like roots you to reality, you know, but when you go outside, that same thing happens except now you're not only making that connection within yourself, you're, you're, it links you to the environment that you're in. So not only are you connected to reality, your soul kind of gets connected to the environment, to the community that you're working in. It's like it, cre it creates a link. It's like really hard to describe, especially when you're writing 
on a wall. You know, you're writing on a wall and it's like you're literally, you know, making marks on the environment itself, not just a piece of canvas. There's, there's a real joy in, in doing that. Why? Why do I do what I do? I don't know. Tell you the truth, it kind of beats the hell out of me why I do it. It's like a compulsion, you know? I feel like anytime I see like an empty spot, kind of industrial wasteland kind of a feel, I just think of it as an opportunity, you know, to add something um, beautiful. Who wants a blank wall when you could have something uh, beautiful and meaningful? Beauty is like, a, I feel like it's a necessity. Not, not a luxury that of just like um, people who can afford it, you know? Um, like downtown, I think what compels me to create something beautiful there is the lack of beauty, you know? That's everywhere downtown. It's, it's just so harsh and kind of inhuman. I just want to see words like where you would never expect it to be in the last place you would expect. And it's just like, like, like finding a treasure, you know, like stumbling across something in nature, you know, like, wow, look at that. I never saw that species before, you know. Zabu's impossibly long fangs dig for the soft flesh. The ape panics bellowing. Strike, my Tiger brother, strike. When you do it on a wall and you're outside, you really get like this sense that your, your spirit is really alive, you know? That's what makes it all worthwhile.